On this slide, we talk about cohomology of OPND. Now this is one of the most important theorems of algebraic geometry. Almost every result depends upon this theorem. So the theorem is, you start with an integer d and this there is a ring s given by s equals to k x0 to xn these are n plus 1 variables so we are working in projective space and therefore we have this natural grading by degree of homogeneous polynomials so sg is space of homogeneous polynomials of degree d again it is generated by monomials of degree d so monomials of degree d form the basis of space sd so in particular notice that if d is less than 0 we take sd to be 0 now this requires careful interpretation so the interpretation is in this sense so say you have this ring so you have k of x 0 minus 1 all the way to xn minus 1. So for this ring, d greater than 0, d greater than 0 will give you sd as 0. And non-trivial space of homogeneous polynomials will only occur for negative grading. Yeah, so this is important to keep in mind. So this is the interpretation of d is less than 0, sd is 0. So let us start with the theorem. So first you talk about the global sections H0. So these are very easy. This is just the space of homogeneous polynomials of degree D. So you take the ring, you take the space of homogeneous polynomials of degree D and they define the space H0. So B is these groups HI are all zero for I not equal to 0 and not equal to n. So for i greater than n, we have already shown it as 0. So we just have to now show between 0 and n, i is this h i r 0. And this is part 3. And this we will have to interpret very carefully what everything means here. So you have this product x0 times x1 times x2 times x3 all the way to xn. You take an inverse and then you have the ring in x0 minus 1, x1 minus 1, x2 minus 1, xn minus 1 and then you put this grading take the d part out of it so this is subtle and we will explain it later now let us focus on part a so again part a we have talked about before and you can see this again on page 59 of algebraic geometry Daniel Perrin so this is just the space of homogeneous polynomials of degree d we will show an example if d is 2 and n is 2 so we are talking about this space k x0 comma x1 comma x2 so dimension of s2 would be n plus d choose So you have 2 plus 2 choose 2 this will be 6 so this is the space x0 square x1 square x2 square x0 x1 x1 x2 x0 x2 so this forms the basis of the space h0 p2 o p2 2 okay so this is clear and easy so let us now come to part c so first notice so the degree here is minus n minus 1 so this is inside the graded part so we have seen that non-trivial will only be for d less than or equal to 0 but since we have this division by this product x0 x1 x2 xn it will be only non-trivial for d less than or equal to minus n minus 1 
Now this requires careful interpretation, this division by x0 times x1 times x2 all the way to xn with the exponent minus 1. So say example n is 2, d is minus 3, we are on the space k x0, x1, x2. So now we are going to write it like this for part c. So this is minus 3 here. This degree is minus 3 for x0, x1, x2, minus 1. And this will be the only basis here. 1, x0, x1, x2. And this is the only basis. And this you identify with the space k. Now, As I compute more examples, you will see why this is the only basis. Now if n is 2 and d is minus 4. So again we just write this down. We have minus 4 here. Again you have minus 3 here. So minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. So now you will have bases as 1 by x0, 1 by x1, comma 1 by x2. Now you have to understand the grading in this sense. Yeah, you first take the grading and then you divide by this product. Now d is minus 5. Again n is 2. So you have x0, x1, x2, minus 1 here. k, x0 minus 1, x1 minus 1, x2 minus 1. You have minus 5 here minus 3 here so minus 5 plus 3 will give you minus 2 and this is where you have the basis of the space x0 square x1 square so we have 1 over x0 x1 1 over x1 x2 1 over x0 x2 So these two spaces are dual to each other. Yeah, so as you can see they are dual to each other, the ones which I have just ticked in red. So now what we can say is this space H2, P2, OP2, minus 5, this space is dual to this H0. P2, OP2, 2. So this we will come back to later. Again. And this is the entire, essentially the story. So now we just write down the dimension of this space in part C. You write it as minus T minus 1, choose N. And uh, it is just a combinatorial answer for how this comes about. So in the first case it is minus d is 3 minus 1, 2, n is 2. Again here it is d is minus 4. So minus minus 4 is plus 4, minus 1, choose 2. So this is 3 choose 2, which will be 3. Here you have minus d will be minus minus 5, minus minus 5 which will be 5, 5 minus 1 which will give you. 4, 4 choose 2 will give you 6.